I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not sorry. I've done a lot of things in my life without giving them much thought. This I've done with a very clear head. I can't live in a world with familiar faces knowing none of them are his. Knowing, despite trying to will it to be, that he's never going to be the guy at the grocery store. The guy walking towards me on the sidewalk. He's never going to walk through the front door again. I can't get the fact that I told him no out of my head. I get sick thinking about it. He wanted me to go to that concert, that stupid concert to see a band he'd already seen half a dozen times that I hated. He told me to go because it'd be the last time we'd get to and just have fun ourselves because we were planning to have kids. But I said no. Because of that no, I wasn't there with him when that car ran the red. Because of that no, I wasn't there when he needed me most. I wasn't there to hold his hand and beg him to hang on, to not leave me. I wasn't there to tell him that I love him one last time. His final moments of life, he was suffering and I wasn't there. I wasn't there because I said no. That one decision has haunted me. It's caused me physical pains. I can't stand this pain. These continued reminders that he's never coming back to me rather not exist than to endure this one more day. And so I'm not sorry for what I've done. Sorry, clumsy. I really did mean to do that. Here you go. It's the wrong book. It's upside down. So, uh, I've seen you in here a few times and we've bumped into each other, but I've never formally introduced myself. I'm Richie. You're that guy that reads the horror novels. Yeah, that's me, the horror nerd. Um, you're always reading that classic literature. Classic Becca, that's me. Well, uh, there's a coffee shop right over there. Would you uh, like to go have some coffee? I do like coffee. After you, classic Rebecca.
Yeah, we should just have one more load, and then tomorrow I'll get the internet turned on. You know, babe. I've come to a conclusion. I think next time you're going to carry all the heavy stuff if we ever move. What are you talking about? That thing is 300 pounds. That thing? 300 pounds. Really? Yeah. If it weren't for these guns, we wouldn't have got it in the house. Here. Are you trying to say that I couldn't have managed it? No, Jimmy Olsen. I'm trying to say you couldn't have managed it. Girl, you keep talking like that, I'm going to have to knock your block off. Huh. You want to go? Oh, yeah. I'm ready to go. But I must warn you, I've seen the Karate Kid. Three... <laughs> Stupid bitch! What? How can you not get into this? I just hate the idea of suffering. I just can't... Wait, wait, wait. I'm serious. I just can't stand suffering. When I was a little girl, there was this tree out in our front yard, and there was these two birds, and they used to fly around and play together and sing together and as a little girl I used to love to watch these birds and then one day one of the birds just started chirping crying and wouldn't stop it all night just kept crying and then the next day I go outside and this bird is still up in the tree crying and down on the ground is the other bird just laying there dead this bird stayed up in the tree for days, and then one day it just went silent. Its beak was still moving, and as it was trying to cry out, it just laid there and suffered. <laughs> 